going in it, friends? I'm Ryan and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight we're looking at a new pedal from Thorpey Effects. It's called the ER2. It's a Univibe, it rules. I'm gonna run it down here on a mix on multiple guitar tracks as well as some keys. And then come on back here and I will show you how I got some of those sounds. into the ER2 Univibe from Thorpey Effects. Let's start out with the controls. So up top, we have an intensity that is exactly what it sounds like. It is how intense you want the effect to be. Then we have a speed. And speed can go from like almost not perceptible, like it's so slow, uh, up to a really, really fast clip. This control is super exciting to me because I'm a big Univibe nerd and sometimes I can like everything about a Univibe except for the ramp. And uh, this allows me to control and dial in the kind of ramp that I like. So that is massive. That's it's worth the price of admission just for that. You know, the volume in the volume is almost like a mix. It's the volume of the effect. If you want a lot of effect, you crank that volume. If you want a little effect, then you pull it down quite a bit. For the foot switches, we have the obvious on and off. And then this is really cool. This is interesting. They separated the chorus and the vibrato with a foot switch. So without this illuminated, you are in the classic Univibe sound. And then if you click this on, then you just have the vibrato. I will be using a Scythe Guitars OH19 plugged into a Silk Tone Amp Silk Tone Amp, and that was all I used on the track as well. And uh, it sounds like this. And we will start with that little uh, musical piece right there. It was the intro rhythm part to the track. And I wanted a really classic sounding univibe for that. So what we have here is uh, the intensity is about midway. The speed is pretty darn slow. I found the ramp that I like here and the volume is there. Uh, this is not illuminated, so it is the univibe sound. And sounds like this.
right, so then we come to the hook part. This is the part that I repeat a couple of times throughout the track, and we went. All right, since everything else had a real nice slow throb to it, I wanted something a little bit quicker um, for more texture. So we have the speed up there, um, changed the ramp on it, and um, brought back the volume a little bit because that can be kind of intense. So if we have just that alone, and we're still in the Univibe setting. That sounds great, but I wanted to add some distortion to it. So we have the 1981 Inventions DRV. <laughs> For the first solo section, I wanted to do something clean and I wanted it to have just a nice light vibrato on it. Just, just a little hair of vibrato on it. So uh, I changed it over to the vibrato channel. Uh, we moved the speed down, we moved the volume up. That stayed the same and we moved the intensity up. So. <laughs> Now, I wanted to pull a little bit more out of it, and I thought the best way to do that would be to attack it from the front end. So I grabbed a compressor, a Fairfield Circuitry uh, accountant compressor. <laughs> Fuzzy Univibe solo, a sound that we are all used to and one that I wanted to recreate. Um, we got these settings here. So we're back on the chorus setting. Intensity is all the way up almost. Volume is all the way up. Um, we have brought down the speed a little bit and I've changed the ramp just slightly. And that's gonna sound like this. <laughs> So we need some fuzz in there. So I grabbed a silk tone fuzz, which is a fuzz face style pedal. <laughs> That sounds great. That sounds really, really great. But when we're listening to like Jimi Hendrix, we're hearing a lot of the amp in there as well as the fuzz face and the univibe. So I wanted to engage the amp a little bit more. And instead of just hitting more volume, I decided to use a Milkman high headroom boost. So the chain right now is ER2 silk tone fuzz into the uh, high headroom boost from Milkman. And so. <laughs>
just a brief overview of the Thorpe FX ER2. Very, very cool Univide pedal. I love the way it sounds. Um, I love that offset, like I mentioned earlier. I think that is an amazing tool for a Univibe. So thank you, Adrian and Georgia, for sending that over for me to check out. Thank you for your time. <laughs>